morning. Yes, hello. And welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. It's feeling autumnal again. It's um, yeah, really coming round and getting cold. I think we're going to do the last bit of baling, straw baling, um, this year. Just a few bits to mop up, a few more bales to fetch in, and the bits and bobs. So find out what we get up to today. Keep watching. So I'm going to jump on the TM. We'll get some cattle fed. Uh, we did a mix last night, so we'll be on it. I have actually just put the uh, ignition on, if anybody's noticed already. Oh, so we can get this started up straight away. It says, first things first, air uh, gone off, heat her up. Thought I'd left my jumper in the high looks, but I've not, I've no idea where it is. So, um, I'll only find that a bit later, because it's, um, like I say, it's getting very autumnal, getting cold. It's coffee time, or tea time. Overloaded by teas, two teas, one coffee. Me and Andy are planning on going on a clean up job now. Yeah? Um, with the baler. So there were some fields that were a bit wet. My dad thought he might get stuck. I think he'd already got stuck that day, hadn't he? Yeah. So he was like, we're not going in here and doing this. So now, Andy's quite thankfully parked this in the way to make it very difficult for me to get the baler out. Um, so he's going to watch me out of here. And um, we're going to get these bits wrapped up and then we're done, pretty much, I think. I think that's straw baling finished for this year, unless some crops up from somewhere that we thought unexpected. Um, it should be it. Fingers crossed we don't get stuck. So we're in the 215. I'm going to keep an eye on that side. Andy's on my blind side. Hopefully we'll get out. So we are off on a little adventure. You know, we could have waited a little bit later to let it dry off, but you know what? Just for the amount of bales it'll be, just get them done. Now we're back to the place where somebody burnt some fly tipping, burnt the fence down. We'll get this opened up. Bling bling. Like it's all carrying its gold chains. So this is where we're going, as you can see. There are one or two roots in here. And we're going to have to cross our fingers so we don't get stuck. See how we get on. We did do a bit of drainage with the digger down that side a couple of years ago, but... It sorted it out a bit, but this year, geez, look at this. I mean, this is with tracks on, so... I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be riding over that, I'll I'll reverse out of this. I've got Andy running across to film me. <laughs> Brilliant. You can see why my dad sent me to do this, it's an absolute nightmare. So it's looking a beast and Andy's navigating the bumps to uh, get the bales on the trailer. A few more runs left anyway and then maybe try and get into some of the ruts a little bit. So that is it. Harvest done for 2023. Andy will get them strapped down and then we'll get off back to the uh, back to the yard. Get some more bales in. Yeah, fun ploughing this Andy, aren't you? I think we might have to come in with dry till and level it out. I dug all that out with my digger. I dug all that out about two years ago. And I just think it's good soil, but it just, yeah. It's low as well, like, it's a big pond at that end. It is just marginal as to whether you get it or not. Right, we'll get back. Shut this gate and start carting some straw away from Don's. Right, I'm just going to use this as a dash cam and put all my lights on. Got flashing lights on. Somebody's parked to the left hand side, which makes it very difficult for me to get out and doesn't give everyone. Well, I've just got to stick the bonnet out very slowly. Cars should be in middle of the road. So I should be able to get my bonnet out. So that's the way that the things are marked. I'm leaning forward now. We have got a car come. Try a bit further. We have got another car come. Put a hand up. Uh, this one's going to have to stop. Thank the Lord. So I just got 
back into the yard. Andy's taking them off. Connor's filling the mixer up. Um, yeah, getting stuff ready to go. We're all swapped around a little bit now. I am unloading bales. Andy's doing the mix. Connor's gone to um, collect bales. So we're all back in as like normal roles, should we say. Um, so hopefully, I think we might be able to get everything back today. A few loads up at Don's and then a few across the road. Yeah, maybe. Just finding space to stack them, that's trouble. I've just had my dinner. Um, I'm going to take the cattle trailer back. Um, Connor's done a good job of washing it out this morning so we can take it back as it was, nice and clean. And Andy should be coming back anytime soon. I've just tried to ring him, but I'm guessing he's on the road, which didn't answer. So, um, yeah, he'll come back. He's got an empty trailer, but by the time I've done this, I should hopefully be able to get him another one ready. Deer at the RSPB, but I can't get past because of this food lorry. It's busy down here today. Last few days of school orders, isn't it? In the yard, I'll have that to take off, but first we'll just get this uh, parked away. So we're on it back on the nine meter. Um, maybe I'll have to do a little time lapse. So that's those dropped in. Um, just got these straps to wind up now. Move the trailer out of the way so Andy can get the next one off the bridge. It's blocking the way bridge at the minute. I think the big birth is coming up next. Business. So I'm going to try and get in shot what I need to you because it's a bit tight in. But I've done mixed mentions because we're a bit of a lull in proceedings. Big birth is coming in a minute. Right, it is a happy birthday to Aidan Farrell who is 12. Um, Vicky, who is 50, now there was a little message with this and it's from your husband Neil who's been away on a lad's holiday and he wants to apologise for that, uh, missing your 50th. Um, hopefully having a mix of entry goes some way to rectifying it, hopefully, I hope for Neil's sake it does. Right, we've raised £6,417 for Yorkshire Air Ambulance through doing this. Absolutely fantastic, thanks to everyone who's donated, we've probably along the way saved somebody's life. How great is that? That is absolutely fantastic. So if anybody else wants to get um, involved in that, then there's a link in the description below and um, all the money goes straight to the charity. I don't touch the money at all. It goes straight to them and then they can use it for whatever they need to do, fueling aircraft or I don't know. I imagine there's lots of costs in running a helicopter. Um, lots and lots of costs. Well, that goes towards it. And then all the medical equipment. Like Medical equipment ain't cheap, is it? Like, mm. Anyway. It's helped, so thanks a lot to everyone who's done it. Right, let's go and... I might drop this off and put Mill on, maybe. Mm, yeah, I think so. Good idea. Jeez, this spider here has made a proper job of that. All the way up to that good. How can, how can a spider do a, a web that long? They're only that big, aren't they? That's insane. I'm easily impressed, easily impressed by spiders. Um, and he's not, he don't like spiders. He'd be um, a bit freaked out that he could go that far. So the mill's on, we're going. Andy's back with Big Bertha. So it's all happening. So we've encountered a problem with the 210. The uh, rods sn snapped, my welding's broke. Probably gonna end up having to buy a new one of them, aren't we? That there, welded to that. Yeah, that's welded to that. Should be welded in. Pop! And we're grinding it off now, then we've got to weld it up. Okay. I'm going to leave Andy to that, I'll fill the mill up. We'll get that trailer unloaded. Um, Cause at the minute we can't drop the trailer off. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, we could if we got the... JCB under it, I suppose, and lifted it a little bit, but um, yeah, we'll get the weight off first. You got your rod? 
Is it welded perfectly? It's not perfect, over there. Not bad. So we're just getting the pins back in now. We've lengthened it a little bit. And we'll see if it works. Are we ready, Andy? Press the button. Don't know from around here, are we? Well, we can do. Not gone bang yet. Tight. And he's gonna pull the pin. Pull, pull. Look at that. Lovely, lovely action in there, Andy. And we're back up and running. Just got off the nine meter. I've unloaded about half of the trailer. And I'm back on this, filling uh, the mill up from the wet shed, the wet barley. Okay, this isn't good. Do that one. Off and on. Even better, not good. Oh, we're back up and running. It was a glitch, it was a glitch. So now I've got to try and get two bales on top of that one that's behind the girder. So we just need a bit of trickery around there. We'll have to sort of swing it in while pushing the boom out. interesting getting them out but hang on they're on the cover right i'm gonna leave that there i've got to load up with some cattle and take some in now and um, so i'm hoping andy uh well no i'll do mix i'll do feeding up sorry when i get back um not gonna be that long daft time we have had a merch delivery i've just brought one of the boxes outside so we can have a look so joe seals caps are going to be back in stock i think that's full of them what else have we got? We've got some hoodies, um, more caps, more caps, grey caps, oh, business and t-shirts and stuff like that. So if um, I'll try and get them on the website tonight. If I haven't done that, then put a back in stock request. As soon as I put them live, then they will go up and out. And they've been out of stock for a while, so they may well go fast. So you might be all right, but I don't, I'm just saying, basically, I'm just saying. They're going to go up hopefully tonight if I get time to put them on. Business. And his back is just giving me a hand to get these cattle on. Uh, probably leave the mill on, we think, and do a bit more in the morning. Got about, I don't know, 80 or 90 bales to get in from the other side of the road. So I think I'm going to be doing that uh, into tonight and just try and get that ticked off. But I think this may well be where I end the video. It might also not be. But it may well be, because um, I'm going to get these took and then I can just automatically compile it while I'm driving there and everything, you know, timings work better. Um, so if you've liked it, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Um, like I said, check out the merch, um, my mucky hat here, they are clean. If you buy merch, it does come clean, it doesn't come with the dusty patina that I've got on mine. Um, T-shirts, hoodies, all that on joeseals.com. So um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, I enjoy making these videos and as long as I keep enjoying it, I'll keep making them. So um, yeah, thanks again. I'm off. Tatsy bye. Dilly dilly. So Andy's having a go at stacking today. We're just making a 6i one in the yard. Um, well, I'm just watch it, uh, watching, washing off the lorry. Um, yeah, it just gets it done, doesn't it? Bad job there, Andy. Well done. Bandy? What, looking through the window? Yeah. <laughs> it's all part of it. It's fun. 
Is a is a window clean? You see through the cracks. <laughs> um, I can do it best then. It's all right. So I thought while we are just getting these bales in from across the way, and I'll be stacking them, I might as well keep this mill running. And then tomorrow, all being well, I can drop the mill off, put the sprayer on, and get some spraying done. Um, yeah, that's that's my sort of my plan at the minute. But powering away, getting some milled, and I'll jump on the nine meter now and um, take these bales off. Another trail load done. And I said that the video was ending earlier, but. Uh, it's not done, has it? It's keeping on going. So, we'll get these stacked in here. Bish bash bosh. I think that needs to go on a bit more. And I'm not sure how far Andy's put that first stack on. That'll be alright, like that. She's going up. Right, we better fill that mill back up because it'll be empty. I think it is. Side glasses are getting a bit monkey. Genuinely, probably ought to finish this video because um, I'm just going to turn into a mammoth in it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'm not waffle on too much, but um, we'll see you in the next one. Business, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.